This place has a... Kind of the Earl Sterling case. Apparently Earl just up and disappeared one day. Lie no one's seen him since. They rush on by. And I've been meaning to put Earl's face to bed for a while now. But you're up for it. So, what's your take on the case, Ellie? On Earl? Well, he didn't have any enemies, that's for sure. Someone would have to notice you're alive first. And Earl didn't exactly have the charisma to inspire any crimes of passion. What's that leave us? I don't know, Nick. It can't be the Institute, right? Guess that's up to you to find out. You keep looking at me like that, I'm gonna start thinking you're a simp. Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. I don't think I noticed. You listen to it. It grates on ears like sandpaper. This DJ Travis, he is disaster. Something must be done, and soon. We will have customers suiciding before long. But Tim... It's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. Oh, Dean? That's this enough. This isn't funny. My name isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Right. We're all just having a laugh. Hey, okay, good. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. <laughs> it, it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job. Or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, him. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Hey, Vadim. We See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid. I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to water. Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> Terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. 
here. I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about. I got a bar to run. Let me know if you want something. Word of advice. Never call your mother a synth unless she really is one. Yikes. Say the word. Don't mind the clutter. No shame in taking the occasional cap. Solomon can hook you up. Hey, Doc. This better be an emergency. Do you know anything about this receipt? Let me see. Hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. 
The procedure noted here is mundane. Low-risk cosmetic work. Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. Anyway, we should get back to your immediate medical requirements. Where is Doc Crocker? Last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Now, let's get back to talking about your medical needs. I need some supplies, Doctor. Uh, let's see what I can spare. You there. We need to talk. Doc. Radiation poisoning is a common... I need to get into the I cellar, what Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? Uh, you know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. And I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? You're talking about Earl, aren't you? You can't honestly think... You know what? Fine. If it'll put the matter to rest. Here, go see for yourself. But if I find one instrument out of place, you'll be getting the bill. The latest hairstyles from the upper stands. Prescriptions filled. Where'd all this blood come from? It goes right into the basement. Just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I, I didn't do anything. It was, uh, it was Earl. It was Earl who didn't want to be happy. Good patients get a nice, new face. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's life! You've killed a man, Doctor. You're going to pay for it. Put the gun down and come with me. Doc, be reasonable. I... I... I did it, didn't I? I killed a man. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, there's so much blood. So much blood all over me. I can fix anything. What's going on here? Going to waste, otherwise. I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Doc Crocker killed Earl Sterling. I found out, and then he killed himself. Guess he couldn't handle the guilt. Dr. Crocker killed Earl? The, the facial reconstruction? So he really did go through with it? That explains a lot more than I'm comfortable with. Dr. Crocker always cared about his reputation, but... This... this is inhuman. 
What are you gonna do now, Doctor? Now? Now, I have a report to file, a mess to clean up, and a lot of explanations to give to our patients. You should get going. A medical professional should be the one to handle all this... contamination. He wouldn't listen. Hey. Shoot. You hungry? These always keep me going. Are things all right between us? It's hard to say at the moment. I think I need you to show me you're not just out here for yourself. Your thoughts? Anything I can do? You just say the word. Nothing else for now. Sure. Find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Earl's not doing a lot of running anymore. Being chopped to bits by Doc Crocker will do that. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the Doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. Crocker killed himself. He couldn't take the guilt. Goodness. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout in know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. So, Crocker went amateur butcher on poor Earl. Moments like this, I'm glad I'm not made of meat. Did you ever find what Marty was looking for? That man didn't get out of bed for free. So I have to imagine it was a pretty nice haul. It's good to be back in Diamond City. Miss Perkins. Guess it's good I never visited Doc Crocker to get that touch-up I'd been thinking about. Hey, Valentine. Time to hit the road? Not now. Well, I'll be around if you change your mind. <laughs>